A sign out front and cars on the lot led a local couple to believe that they were buying from a licensed dealer. But it wasn't until the vehicle turned out to be a lemon they learned the sale of their SUV was actually illegal. That's when they contacted our Taking Action reporter Jackie Calloway for answers. Dad, look! When Jasmine Soli needed a safe ride for her family, she placed her trust and her money in Nato Auto Sales. The dealer sold her an SUV in March. They cut off on the intersection while the kids were in the car. One time, I almost got hit. We were in situations where we could have, God forbid, been seriously hurt. But it wasn't until the paper tags expired on the Nissan Murano that the couple discovered the Brandon dealer lost his license to sell cars. I was very shocked and surprised. We checked with the Department of Motor Vehicles and learned that they canceled Nato's dealer's license in January, two months before Jasmine purchased her SUV. The DMV told us in an email, the department is working with these consumers and issued a cease and desist notice to the parties involved on June 12th, 2019. We found Nato's phone disconnected. You have reached a number that has been disconnected. And it's locked, padlocked. The business refunded Jasmine's money after the DMV got involved. Money they used to buy a car that actually runs. This kind of situation shouldn't happen to somebody when they want to buy a vehicle. To find out if a dealer is licensed, just go to the DMV website. They break it down here by county. And if you're having an issue and need to file a complaint, well, you'll find this complaint form online as well. I'm Jackie Calloway taking action for you.